Well, good morning. On this episode of At the Ranch with Jay, we're walking with a cup of coffee and we're headed to the barn. Um, I think today we're going to work on the drive shaft. So I'm going to pull the old drive shaft, the new drive shaft, and uh, line them up and cut it and make a new one. On hold for that. Today we're going to get into the drive shaft. So here is the original drive shaft out of the Firebird, and I already cut my end off. This is the one out of my Chevelle. So as soon as I get this figured out, I'll show you. So I already cut my original drive shaft end off, and you know there it is. It's just a tube. That's the Chevelle drive shaft. I cut it off. The camera just fell over, and this is an aftermarket. I'm sorry, aftermarket factory. The weirdest thing I ever saw, man. It's got like an inside tube that's a channel that's filled with a magnet. It must be for harmonics or something, but regardless, um, that one is too short, and my original one is too long. So, what I did is I hacked off the end of my original drive shaft, which went right there. You know, I used some tape to make a straight line. And I used the clamp to make a square and I cut by hand with a grinder. Same thing with the donor. I took the donor one. So they are the same yokes. They are the same splines. Uh, 50 years apart, 30 years apart. I don't remember. The, they are interchangeable and it does work, but I'm gonna use the factory six speed with the little balancer on it. And since these are a different diameter, the drive shafts are different. This one will actually fit inside that one, which makes shortening it a lot easier. So what I did was I cut the end off, that end, we're done with that. And I'm gonna go with this end, except I have to shorten it by about six inches, maybe eight. So I'll go measure the output shaft in the rear end and verify what my length needs to be. Okay. I got it cut off. I'm trying to get my phone to stay still. I need like, I need a commentator. Speaking of commentators, check this out. So I know I get sidetracked pretty easy, but we talked about commentators lately. But uh, you know, you got sweet potato, baked potato. You got you know all kinds of potatoes. Right there. There's a commentator. Commentator. This tater has been sitting on this shelf for over two years. And it's just now starting to sprout. <laughs> it's ammo for my tater gun, which I lost it. I don't know where it is. I was shooting it a few months ago. But anyway, back to the task at hand. Commentator. Um, we're cut off. We're going to set this right here. We're going to attempt to, like, you know... LS. You ever see inside a drive shaft? Check this out. So this is a 1960s. It's lined with cardboard tubes. There's three sections, one, two, three in there to keep the harmonics out of the drive shaft. They use cardboard. Newer style, they use magnets and all kinds of weird stuff. And they put a balancer and all kinds of, but cardboard. It's come a long way from cardboard. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the original yoke and this happens to be enough smaller diameter that I had to put a couple wraps of duct tape on it to make it a tight fit. And then it's going to fit right in there. That way it will be centered. Oh boy, I didn't cut very straight, but it's close enough. So what you want to do is you want to line the yolks to each other so it doesn't throw it out of balance. Got that one. We'll put the straight up and down. Get straight up and down so I can like verify what I got going on. And that's pretty it doesn't have it's not rocket science, you know, it's it's a piece of metal. Nowadays I'm making out of aluminum, a lot lighter. And that's it. It's ready to, I can tack it, weld it on. Now what I should do is go verify that it fits. But I'm not going to. I'm going to weld it in place just like it is. So, 
there you go. It's ready for assembly. And then all I gotta do is weld around it. Okay, well I'm in here, I'm ready to weld it up. I had to ensure that I had the uh, correct flange alignment. The back one is aligned with the front one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and weld it on there. And this is a crappy spot to like try and do this, but uh, this should work out. We'll see. Well, project for today is just about wrapped up. Uh, I've got it welded on. Uh, pretty well burnished out. It needs to be balanced yet, but uh, it will drive the car and get me to what I need to get to next. So today's project is just about finished. So I'm going to go ahead and temporarily install it and see what happens. And move on to ordering some more parts. Tomorrow's episode brought to you by Chuck's Classic Cycles of Tuscahoma will be tanning beaver hide with hide tanning formula. So if you need your beaver tanned, you come see me. <laughs>